after creating the SQL utilities for our uh, data processing class, right now I'm going to create a class to do the business processing. Okay. Uh, let's say, uh, what would you like to do? You would like to uh, process the data for the staff, let's say, okay, for the staff. Normally, you can create the down for each data set for each staff, okay, for each of the users, sorry. In this case, let's say you have an user which is called the staff, okay. So I'm going to create a data access, I'm going to do all the data access business for the staff. So this one is staff down, okay. I'm going to create a class which is called staff down or staff data access object. In this, I'm going to do all the data processing for the staff, okay, data processing for the staff. Yeah, they're processing for the stuff. Okay, then inside here I'm gonna make a method like uh, uh, public result set. Okay, public result set um, loads batch. Okay, load batches. This result set, I'm gonna do control space and choose. Uh, Java or SQL results set because we're working with JDBC. Okay, JDBC. So we have load batches already. Load batches. We load all the batches. In order to load batch, we're just gonna run a query. String comments equal to select everything from batch. Okay, select everything from batch. Select everything from batch. We would like to execute this query and we're gonna use our SQL utility, SQL util equal to new SQL util. Okay, then we're gonna return SQL util dot execute the query there. Done. Okay, this stuff. See, in order to do, this, let's say if you would, would like to load the batch, you're just gonna Create a method load batch. If you would like to insert a new batch, just create a query to insert a new batch. Let's just give an example. If you would like to, let's say public void um, add batch. Okay, let's say in order to add batch, you need to, to have the ID then the names. Okay. Then you're gonna do you're gonna do string command equal to insert into batch values the first field is for the um, uh, ID second field is for the name right okay so in the first field here we're going to add in no just fine this one we're gonna add in this quote to separate them and here is the ID let me just break it down. Okay. Then inside here we're gonna add this quote in and this quote in and the name. Okay. Then done. I said the ID, sorry, the ID we don't need to have the quote then. So you don't need this actually. You don't need this and you don't need this. Okay, because the ID is integer, so we don't need the quote. This single quote is used for the name only, for the names only. Okay. So we have that command. And you would like to execute this command. Just make use of the SQL dot execute the command then done. It will add the new batch for you. It will add the new batch for you. And similarly if you would like to do other business processing, just do it there. For the software do it there. Okay. Let's say if you would like to, uh, if the staff could add the student, then just do the method to add the student for that. If the staff who, uh, could load the student, then just do a method to load students over there. If the staff could, let's say, search for students, add a method to search student over there. 
So add all the functionalities for the start. Do you have all that? Okay. All functionalities for the start. Done, right? Understand, right? So again, for normally for each of the user, you need to provide a set of utilities for each user. And if if they have if they have common utilities or common features or common functions, you can have a super down there. Put all of them in a super down and extend them. Then we'll be done. In this case, I'm, I'm creating only one for for stop, so I'm not putting anything into super down yet. So now we are going to we are going to we already finished the uh, down. We're gonna create the first shape. First shape are the classes that are gonna be used outside. Okay, classes that you're gonna use outside. And normally you're gonna use I'm gonna use Java class star first shape as well. Okay, star first shape for each of the user. Let's say you have admin, you have admin first shape. Uh, start, you have start for shape. Students, user, you have student for shape, so on so forth. Okay. For shape is to include the method they would like to expose outside. And this one gonna use staff down equal to new staff down. Okay. Staff down. Okay. Then I'm gonna create the uh, first method is that. Uh, it is going to uh, be able to, let's say, public void add batch with int id string name. Then you're going to make use of, just simply make use of sd dot add batch id and name. You may do some pre-business processing here if needed, but then in this case, just recall what, whatever you have done inside the DAO. Okay? And I would like to do another method which is public. Uh, list, okay, list of batch. This time I'm going to use list of batch to expose it outside as a list of batch, not the, um, not the, not the, not the what? Not the result set anymore. Because exposing it outside already, so I'm not going to work with result set anymore. I want to convert it into list. Still, it is load batches. Okay. And then you're gonna use the result set rs equal to okay stop dot dot load batches and then we need to convert rs into into list so you're gonna make list batch batches equal to new array list we're gonna use array list then. Okay. And then var rs dot. Okay. Var is dot. Uh, next. We look through all of the the the, the um, records over there. This one we're gonna click on surround the statement with try catch. Okay. So um, string now int id equal to rs dot get int from the batch id column uh, string name equal to rs dot get string from the batch name column and we, we have the id and the name from the result set already you create batch b equal to new batch with the id and name then we have the batch already add that batch to list of batches so batches dot add b Done. Okay. So we have our first sheet done already. And finally, we're gonna return batches. Finally, we're gonna return batches. We'll return batches. So we have our code for. We have our code for the start first sheet. That's gonna do all the functionalities for the start. Okay. Normally, it's gonna make use of your DAO. Okay. Some of the methods is going to just simply make use of the down completely 
Some of the method, you may customize it out method for your own needs. Okay? And you export it outside. And you export it outside. For this one, you can hide your you can you can hide your um, down code. Okay. You hide the down code. What is the first sheet again? The first sheet is a class that provides functionality, functionality directly for the users of the API. Okay, the users of the API. They use those methods. Okay. So we finish the we finish all the layers, the entity to represent the data, the DAO to do data access, and the fish to expose uh, the methods outside. Okay. Now I'm gonna pause this one right now. Next year I'm gonna do the 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 testing for this.